Um, let's go back to Lisa Fernandez. Lisa, uh, nice morning for a spot of synchronised swimming. OK, don't go anywhere for the next few minutes. I'm here with the uh, national coach of the uh, synchronised swimming team and the assistant coach. I'm here with... Leslie. Leslie and Juliana. Ladies, thank you so much for being here with us. Just on a national scale, tell us how proud should we be of our synchronised swimmers? These girls work about nine hours a day in the water. Yes. And we're going for a top six finish, top seven finish at the Olympic Games. Yeah, and I mean they're competing against countries like China and Russia who oh, yeah. do this yeah. on a full-time basis, don't they? Yes, you know? they do. So, and talk us through training. They literally do train nine hours a day, our girls. Yes, they do. They have land training. Um, some of them do gymnastics. They do ballet, yes. um, flexibility. So there's lots of components that come into play for what they do in the water. Um, that's why it takes so long. There's dedicated athletes. OK, and what they're performing behind us, what, what, it's a free routine. Just talk us through what that is. Uh, the theme of the routine is the red back spider of Australia. So their, their suits and the choreography are depicting a spider in the choreography. How, how long can they hold their breaths for? Like, seriously? <laughs> oh, <laughs> probably if they're not doing anything for over a minute. Um, so, you know, quite a long time. They've been doing it for a long time. I mean, that, it's exhausting, isn't it? Let's oh, be honest. Oh, sure. It's, if you think about running, yes. it's like running and holding your breath and sprinting and then taking one breath and then holding your breath and oh. sprinting again. That's sort of what the routine is for four minutes. And we just found out too, Tim, that nine of these girls will be going to Rio. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Nine we just qualified um, at the World at the Championships. World? Yes. So uh, we, we're the continental uh, champion and we're going to um, oh. represent Oceania. I'm so excited. Congratulations to Thank the girls. You. I'm just going to get my weather. So, And just before I do that, Tim, I just want to um, go back to Brian and give a quick shout out because there are five WA girls here. Brian, who are they? They are. They're Danielle Ten Van Holt, yep. Danielle Kettlewell, Amy Thompson, Debbie Sy and yep. Rose Stackpole, all from WA. All from WA going to Rio to represent Australia. I'm so Good proud. Uh, we reached a lot of 7.7 .7 degrees uh, this morning in Perth today. We are heading for a very hot 31 degrees. Tomorrow, cloudy, high chance of shade. Hour, so the fun and games looks like it's over weather-wise, uh, 23. Look, over the next few days, showers are developing Friday, Saturday showers 17, and Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, partly cloudy conditions from 19 through to 21. You know what, Tim, honestly, I'm so nationalistic and I love the Olympics and it's really great to get out and support young girls like this, they're aged between 16 and 22, who are training nine hours a day to get themselves to the Olympics um, and represent Australia. Yeah, it's and there's nothing more Australian than that, let me tell you. The only thing more Australian than that, Lise, would be you maybe on the middle size no, don't. board there, <laughs> hanging a massive peg leg off there, straight oh. in there. Just... Hey, do you know what? I've done that. I've dead set. I've jumped off that and got a massive bruise from here to here when I worked in radio. Which is why Stupidest you're going nowhere near the done. water today. Well done. Thank you, Lise.